You hear our words, but you forget. Push your fingers through the surface to the wet. We wait in the stains. We build you till nothing remains. In the name of the sound of the name. Repeat the word, repeat the word, repeat the word. A cracks in the truth will emerge. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. You are home to remind us how. To the edge of understanding, the border of the known, the breaking point of reason, our logic is thrown. Your sense is defenseless and festers on the bone. You'll find entropy as offensive as rendered of a song as you roam through the oldest house, home to all that you weren't told about. Trapped within a labyrinth that goes without saying that we're praying that they don't get out. Prism for the ism, sitting hinge within a schism of half reflected architecture, dark and ending prisms. Part objective, part conjecture, partner with tradition where the paperwork is worshipped and the ritual is written. When the black rock cracks and the fire break ends, the director is left as the line of defense. Trenches have fallen to forces unknown. Perhaps you should answer the phone. If you can't place the pin where patterns end and you begin, follow the director. Else you're gonna slide into the void. But if the world you have made has cracked and fallen, you go to the projector. Load another slide into the void. There's the strangest correlation observation will present in the systems we can witness and the signals they have sent. These forces yet unknowable that ripple through cement. Inscrutable intrusions, altered world events, where reality cracks and impacts on the next. Uh, dimensions fragment and the astral projects on benign, undefined, archetypal objects until ordinary's torn up and normal defect. In effect, what you're left with are OOPs, objects of power. A flying TV, a light that can hijack your mind as you see, a safe that's encased in a shield of debris. These frequencies are frequently the key to what's perceived to be, and vis a vis are feeding off the reaches of the mind. But recently the sequence is repeated and repeated, and it leaves people with the theory that they're trying to get inside. You hear our words, but you forget. Push your fingers through the surface to the wet. We wait in the stains, we build you till nothing remains in the name of the sound of the name. Repeat the word, repeat the word, repeat the word, and it cracks and the truth will emerge. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, you are home, you remind us happy. If you can't place the pin, where patterns end and you begin, follow the director, as you're gonna slide into the void, but should your world collapse and fall right off the map, so did the projector, load another slide. The director is the bureau's one connection to the board. Obey the mighty Bakelite and file your reports. Telephony and effigy must never be ignored. So if you hear a ringing, you would better pull the cord and explore the decor of the ocean view, where the doors only open for a chosen few. Check your logic at the desk, you won't need it to progress. A dream is just a test to be broken through, like the smoke entombed in the rooms of the ashtray. Furniture fractals, the carpet cascades, lost in a labyrinth of lounge chairs and lampshades, wallpaper warps into infinite pathways. There's no limit to the dangers of phenomenon we keep, or the chaos that would range if the panopticon be breached. This never-ending edifice is pushed upon the precipice since we let in the resonance the future has seen. If you can't place the pin where patterns end and you begin, follow the director, else you're gonna slide into the void. But if you see the scenes where motels melt with dreams, go to the projector. Another slide into the analyze the data. I catalog the signs. Run every simulation, every sample I can find. I give an explanation, but we haven't got the time. We're drowning in the waveforms, and our minds are in the tide of elegant malevolence, sequestered in the residence, nesting in the head of every denizen. Tell me, is it heaven sent? Is the devil even relevant when questioning the presence of dimensional intelligence? Thresholds unfold as a door that knocks in the ticking, in the ticking, in the ticking of the clocks. We are holding the key, we just don't see the locks. Paradise and parasite in parallel, in paradox we stand on a mantle where matter divides to abstract diffractures that tangle and run through cracks in reality. Trapped in a slide, such a tangible sanctuary, Hedron provides. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth wall, fifth wall, no floor, you fall, earworm. I'm humming in a dream, baby, 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 yeah, it's just plastic. You want to listen, you want to dream, you want to smile, you want to hurt, you don't want to be, you want to listen, you want to dream, you want to smile, you want to hurt, you don't want to be.
Hello and welcome to the stream. It is I, Madcats, making up for yesterday where I didn't actually stream because I kind of forgot what day it was on. Whoops. Um, so yeah, I'm jumping back into control because I really couldn't think of what I wanted to play. I've got a lot of things I want to play, but I can't play them all at once. So I'm like, Ugh. So, control it is. We're diving back into that. Hello, open and love, welcome in. Bless you, bless you. Uh, hello, Seva, welcome, welcome. Uh, too many games, too little time, only one of me. Yes, yes, that is that is pretty much the case. Um, and yeah, today has been uh, a long day, but a non-stop day as well. Uh, my brain is kind of fried, so I'm I'm. Uh, I was half tempted to pick up something else, and I was like, actually, I could do some control, and then if I'm still kind of fried tomorrow, which I get the feeling I might be looking at what I've got set to do, um, I'll play something fairly chillax. Um, uh, a whole five days to play games there, I know, and we'll probably play one game, and the rest of it we'll probably spend sleeping. <laughs> um, oh boy, could I go to sleep right now. Um, but no, I'm going to do this. We are we are going to do this. <sighs> he says, and then it's just like, Ugh. Um, but yeah, we shall um, carry on and, and try and figure out what the hell I'm doing, because I'm forever trying to figure out what I'm doing, and I don't think I've ever figured it out yet. Um, so uh, off we go. Now I know I came here and I died. Oh, like at one point that's not much. So let me just see. What was I doing? Where did I die? What was I doing that caused me to die? I remember dying. I just can't remember why. Let's go and just track that and figure out where we are. Uh, trying to win. I'm always trying to win. Uh, first run through a clans last night before Hoxie's win. So that's good. That's good. Congratulations. I've been playing offline with uh, Hawk and Cairo. Um, just having a, a bit of a laugh with that. It's. It's one of those things that the small lasers are broken to all hell, but I hope they don't fix it because it is hilariously broken to all hell. Uh, you want to go to the research? What for? Why am I going research? I can only imagine that I've got to find this guy somewhere over here. Okay, okay. Let's see if I can figure out that asteroid maze. See if there's anything new that's cropped up. Black tap words, very uh, variants of cakes, uh, pastries, frosting, baked goods. Oh my god. So cinnamon bun, cinnamon bun, cinnamon bun, and cinnamon bun. Uh... Oh, below central research. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I know where it wants me to go. Oh, wasn't it that I, I, I ended up not flying? I ended up street petering. I think that's how I died last time. I think it wants me to go this way. Oh yeah, I'm going to stay this way. See, I 
I can do it too. You don't know that, do you? Where is that fucking sphere? It's gotta be somewhere. I see you. Come back here, you cheese mongering ass boy. Missed the guy I actually had targeted, but you know. Mate boy still there? No, oh, mate boy fucked off. Alright, okay. Who the fuck? Which, which son of a fucking bitch just signed their own death warrant? Where are you? You! Before I try and carry on with this, anybody else want to muck around? Uh, it flows, chop buns, ice buns, gato. I mean, yeah, there's stuff like that. I, I, I generally just see cake and eat it. I tend not to, you know, learn its name beforehand. Hell no. Get attached to it. I might care about it. I barely care about you know like calories. I'm sort of caring about the cakes that cause them. Oh, that's activated the other. Ah, ha 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 ha. Hold on, that all. Actually, friendly friendlies. Oh, friendly friendlies. Come in there, ma'am. Area's under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Okay. barge into people's private workspaces yes she clearly doesn't know who she's talking to shouldn't you be in a safe room why because of those his things the rangers keep going on about haven't you people sorted that out yet the situation down here could spell doom for the bureau you mean this mold correct perhaps you could help me I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. 
Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need, here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Okay. Type A grows near fresh corpses. Type B grows near toilets. Type C grows near televisions. Type D grows near staircases. And Type E grows near the pit. Okay. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. Okay. Can I question why you're wearing something that clearly shows your shoulders, but, you know, seems to be some kind of cover over everything? And can I ask why you're not wearing a respirator when dealing with mold? Being skeptical. So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course... Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. When he's more of a hero than you, love, he's got a live actor behind him. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time. Straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. Hey baby, have you seen my room? Because it's a dangerous alien biosphere, all right? Although I would say no, actually. It's a bit... Yeah, say no, love. It's safer for both of us. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. So wear a mask! Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. Aww, We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Blooming neck. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Have a look at mods though, because I've probably got a bucket load of useless ones. I do have a bucket load of useless ones. Oh, da, 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 da. I don't really see something I can get rid of some of these. Uh, what do we have here? 
here, so that shield energy cost, launch energy, that's lower so that can go, that's lower that can go, evade energy costs, I've got 17, ooh, that's a good one to actually uh, put there, because that then can go. Uh, you're 25%, I'm currently at 44, so that can go. That's launch energy, that can go, that can go. Energy recovery speed, I don't really have anything for that. Don't need any of them. Uh, right, let's change that to doobie doobie doo. Uh, I'm trying to think what's going to be better. Probably shatter. Let's go with that for a minute. That increases the number of projectiles. No, wait, no. That incre uh, decreases the recoil on firing more projectiles. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Cinnamon Buns Galore contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that a quarry threshold is beneficial to the borough while mode is actively hostile to use his words. We cannot uh, determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mode is no more beneficial than some rock. If the pastries uh, oh, oh shit, I've lost it. No! Ah! Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Which one was it? What was it called? I managed to have mouse over and lose it. No! I've lost the pastries. Oh, no, there it is. Found the pastries! Uh, so yeah. Secondly, the mode is much more better for the rock. If the pastries creating the mode were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures could uh, they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mode's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived from shore bombs. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the brewer lost its eagerness to challenge. Refer to file 2 v 5 one 8 6 3 4 for the report. I keep forgetting I can actually do that and that'll, you know. Allow me to mouse around and not do things. Favorite type of frosting? Ah, uh, the one with sugar on it. So you want to know how my mold re research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms, similar in appearance to sugar frosting, construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these ice bums are the original disseminate, uh, disseminators of the mold or are uh, bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable orgasm that I have ever seen. I theorize the mold's source located somewhere on outside of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as Mold 1. Wow. Original. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly consumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It's truly an ingenious little thing. A full report will be read soon. Keep your slacks on. Hello there. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life at the old death BC? I wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise. Incredibly bright and incredibly intuitive. Uh, but I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a pair together. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. I always admired that about you. Talk soon. Caspar. Casper, the friendly scientist. 
I hate guard duty down here. This place is fucking weird. This is nothing. The clocks? Now that's weird. What's weird about a bunch of clocks? Shut up! I think that's the new director. Yes. It is me. Whoa! What are you going on about? My family had black mold once. Bleach did the trick. Uh, Has Underhill tried bleach? Nothing important. <sighs> it smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. Yes. Eat them. Wait, where'd the moat? Did that moat explode? Fucking damn it, I was gonna pick it up and take it somewhere. Let's find the edible mold and let's give it to the people that came up with a puppet show. Problem solved. Pink Flamingo, AI-46 dash KE, background. Agents noticed a transient uh, commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and allowed the claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. C file PAI-13724 detailed observation. Dr. Darling reported a weight of cream cheese for seconds before the rain stopped. Oh, I didn't even hear the guard say that. <laughs> Finally had black mold once. Bleach is the trick. Has someone tried bleach? The vagrant was seized the next day. After Bleach, he was found to possess no black mold and was released. The item retains in Bureau consistent suspicious of altered status, though this has not yet been proven. All known variations of identification forms have failed to elicit a response from the item. No, 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 they were. Got you a mold, moldy thing. The moldy thing exploded. <laughs> Carol does us not to drink bleach. I mean, yeah. far too much fall off my brain was like what you need to do is press Q to go to the uh, Oh, 
I'm gonna die. I can see the future. Oh shit, we're here. Ooh, actually. Alright, so let's catch the elevator. Elevator. I could send the yellow bit to but I don't think I Oh, I can. That's not going to bite me in the ass later, sure. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. Kill me. There's more of this show. 
Uh, have you got any more on you? You're dead to me. What about you? You got anything? Ooh, actually, are you the sample I need? This must be one of the samples. Yes. Breaking up the party band and putting them together, they're having a, a comeback reunion tour. Hello! One of them had a fatal accident whilst he was tripping bolts a week ago. Oh uh, well, that to me is just Darwinism. Found one. You're gonna do drugs, expect to die. I mean, there's no doubt they were talented and they could sing and stuff like that, but it's no excuse for, you know, doing things which, let's, let's face it, people know is stupid. doing a lot of stuff. I'm assuming in, by stuff you mean illicit substances. Uh, and struggling with mental health. Now that aspect I can sort of you know agree with. No doubt they were under pressure for various you know musically related gubbins and all that sort of jazz. But even so I I, I kind of get the feeling that it was probably like, almost felt he was pushed into the thing. I've got the money, I've got the thing let's do these drugs and see if they help. Or maybe, maybe they were anticipating the drugs to do what they actually did. Um, you know, anticipating ending one's life kind of job without actually making it look like that. But kind of hard to, you know, sort of say. I mean, we can say, but we're not going to get answers. On account of the person, you know, being a little bit on the um, deceased side. Ah! Ew. One of Underhill oh, samples. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I've not had enough drugs for this. Stepping to the FBC has asked to do less, rush to me, but you don't touch. And those three much less join the treasure keys. Let's join the treasure keys. Uh, 
<laughs> Building shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting-edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. <laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Tofa. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. <coughs> I do wonder if that guy's coughing at the end was him genuinely needing to cough and they just left it in or whether that was scripted. But, yeah. The only thing I appreciate about this is the actually says do stop motion. I mean, they're, they're puppets. You know, that, that's more akin to watching Thunderbirds or something like that. Or as I was watching the uh, other week, because I, I I remembered watching it as a kid, and I never saw much of it, so I actually watched pretty much the entire series that I could find on YouTube. Um, Terror Hawks, mostly for the um, major. Go to the bogs and the pit, which to me sounds like the same place. Shearing pit is this way, you know, where there's a huge gaping hole in the ground. Uh oh. I guess I can't go down there yet. That was unexpected. No, it wasn't. It's me playing this game. <laughs> Jesse's death is expected. Always expected. Okay, so that is deadly. That was a thing down here. Oh, that would be where she's like, you need it to go deeper, and uh, that makes sense. <laughs> the Bremen Basket AI fit for UE. Containment procedure. Item to be stored in a black rock panel of cell. Keep away from lab animals when not in use. Description of all total effect. A simple worker basket with cloth lining. No food items inside. The item produces a hypnotic effect that solely affects non-human animals, forcing them to congregate passively around the object. Animals from every genus and species that have thus far been tested are susceptible. Single cell organisms do not appear to uh, react to the effect. Appendix uh, 9 dash, uh, sorry, 6 97. Item was taken to a forest upstate for testing. Results of the test uh, provided contradicting data as some of the attracted animals exhibit hyperaggressive behavior. The exercise fortunately resulted in Little Red Riding Hood dying. Further testing should be restricted to more low risk animal species with medical staff on standby. Always expect the expected. I mean, yeah, it's. it's yeah. You've got to expect the expected and say, uh huh. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Where I started. Okay. So I'm assuming there's toilets around here somewhere. TV with the creepy kids. It's not in there. This place needs more signage. Or Jesse needs a torch. One of the two. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. That looks like a toilet. That is indeed a toilet. Oh, gross. Underhill is gonna owe me for this. Okay, grows near the pit. So let's go to what I'm assuming is the pit. This looks like a good one. That's all five samples. I should get these back to Underhill. Victory fan for you look like a woman with mold for me. Nah, sorry, I love it's you know, just a yeast infection. I found all five, but I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold, or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold, or fungus, because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless. Yes, if you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. There. That didn't take too long, now did it? Ingest this yourself. pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Ugh. Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about.
think it was the easiest one. Oh God! The further I go, the worse it smells. Great. Now she's got a good tracking device in her. It's COVID all over again. True, she can't get 5G anywhere she goes. I need to upgrade this shotgun, it just doesn't seem to be having the poop <laughs> Imagine you could actually, you know, go off with a 5G and have all the uh, internets in the most remote of locations. Target's probably going to wait for a minute whilst I clear this place out. Find the others, minion. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7? <laughs> Still in the threshold. Why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skittle turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, Ollie, what'd you find now? I get the feeling this place turns people insane. Let's go pneumatic because I want to get more. Wait, I've not been to pneumatics. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to get more um, points. <laughs> Thrash mode. Oh, it, it's a fairly good way of calling it.
ba 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 Oh, weapon mods is full. Right, okay, let's start ditching. Let's just get rid of tier threes. Uh, right, so that's real old speed, which is always kind of bloody handy to have. my own little straight jacket thingy. Looks like a decent pair of slouches to be honest. But yeah, I like this. Board counter matches. <laughs> the kamikaze detonate. We understand that well. Snipers snipe but without being sniped. Right, wrong mission is selected there. Let's go back to Moldy One. Let's get the old pit. Fast travel back to the old pit. Is that the source? It's kind of pretty. Oh, Jesse. Why, why, why were you doing nope. this, Jesse? Not pretty. Jesus fucking. a lot of exploding mold <laughs> Points of every take a quick turn up shortly.
I didn't upset it. It upset me. Oh, fuck it up. Right, okay. Radius of projectiles. Well, that's a faster projectile speed. Let's go with that a second. Got anything decent? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's better than what I've got currently. It's only basically what I pick up, but it's it's better than what I've got. Oh, shield. I keep forgetting I got a shield. How the fuck do I shield? Good, what, half of the? Oh, it's a quarter of the energy. Just to put a set of rocks up in front of me. Okay, okay. Why is that one in the wall? It's kind of pretty. Nope, not pretty. This is one that I'm going to need to come back to. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so this is all over the show. Well, let's start here and make our way around. Do, 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 do. 
I should find the others. Can you imagine being like one of those like guards there? Like, oh my god, this thing's coming. We're gonna fight it. What we're we gonna do? And then the boss shows up and just throws a fucking forklift truck at the guy. Can I go in here now? I am in. Immune. Ooh, ooh, there's a health boost. Oh. What did I pick up? Uh, it's, well, actually, no, that one's 30% to my health. That is better than a kick in the nuts. Which is a like my dodge boosty thing. If they're having that little bit more health, might help because I do tend to die quite a bit. Okay, so that's that one dealt with. Uh, I want to head this way. Go back to the energy converters? Question mark. Food coma. Uh, that's the same as what I've got currently, so that's not any better. Uh, that one's gonna be worse. That gives me more energy. Is it better to have 18% less launch energy cost or 11% more energy? Trench, as head chef, I need to express my concern about rumors I've been hearing regarding mold appearing near some of my kitchens. I am alerting you that any food handled, prepared, or consumed in the vicinity of mold can be contaminated and unsafe for ingestion. 
If I can verify his report, then I will need to close multiple cafeterias. I realize it's been inconvenient to many, but as a caterer, I pride myself in keeping a pristine environment for food preparation service. Sincerely, Jay Pullman, head chef of the Golden Chow Catering Company. See what you're after. Mm -hmm. You can't kill me. I'm mystical man. <sighs> right. Now there's a big math question. Yep, it's a big math question, which is why I'm going to happily ignore it because I don't do math. Uh, right, back this way, Jesse. I'm sure there's more interesting things we can do. <sighs> Ooh, that's the day catching up with me. appear to be one to get to black rock processing okay okay so we just got to run down to there then okay oh, board counter measures going on. oh yeah thank you But first, loot. Let's go see what people are shooting up. Behold, the cavalry has arrived. Just like 
like Arish said. Black Quarry, I've got to go to a warp point. Everyone here looks so happy. Oh, it's the safely. Okay, fast travel. So, coolant pumps. That's close to it. I can work my way down, clear out the coolant pumps. And then head to Black Quarry. Let's see if I can't see what that question mark is at the end. There is a question for people. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? I suppose you could say why as well. We'll just go for the luck standard. What could you have? What would you have? That's why I couldn't see you. You're one of those guys. I hate these guys. Shape-shifting, oh, that's a good one. Imagine, um, imagine it's sort of like Odo from uh, Deep Space Nine. <laughs> you do cosplay so Now that's an awesome reason to go for shape-shifting. about like you know wigs or anything like that and the hair would never blow out of you know you could control it and... yeah that would look that would look kind of cool yeah i've always liked the idea of being able to fly <laughs> or something like this <laughs> um are oh, you who let you out your cage? Okay.
Arish saw it coming, though. I should get these back to him. Yep, yep, that's a good plan. Let us actually, before we do that. Uh, pneumatics again. What the hell is wrong with pneumatics? It keeps on getting hissed. Uh, fast travel. Dead letters. I mean, at least no one's going for this one. But yeah, the ability to fly to me would just be awesome because then I don't have to worry about, you know, public transport and all that. I could just zip and be like, Really hurt. Uh, got to do real life counter and teleportation would be it. teleportation could be kind of cool. My only concern with teleportation is how is it done? Is it something that you can teleport somewhere and you know where you're going to be, or do you have like a foresight that you know you're not going to end up in a wall or? You know, Uh, could turn into a flying creature and fly. There is that, yeah. And yeah, if you're a shapeshifter, then yeah, you can do an order and make your own clothing. Fuck, if they're in there, we go around that way. No. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Not counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... Well, it's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. Now, the story's confidential, but, uh... Well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion, we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. Somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. A lot of teleporters superheroes need to be able to see where they're teleporting to, or else they could teleport into an object and get stuck. Yep, we don't want to get stuck in objects. That's that's just no. Oh, and he's got the central effect in flame. Ground slam. Ground pound. Or I could do 75% to my launch damage. Mmm, launch. Considering how many times I, you know, throw shit at people, that to me seems like a better option. Uh, I think I might call it here because it's a fairly decent spot and I am getting a bit zonked. So. I will wrap it up here. Um, oh. Right. Uh, lunch, lunch, same difference. Um, but yeah, I'll 
try and do a bit of streaming tomorrow, but I have got to finish packing. And also need to remember to book a taxi. Because I could walk to the station in the morning, but eh, I'm going to be lazy. Um, I'll just get a, a taxi out there. Considering it's going to be like... I'm thinking if I get the taxi for like half six, it'll get me there for like ten to seven or something like that. But I know I'm going to be there. Because I know my luck is if I get a taxi any later, there'll be some weird weird thing that means the taxi doesn't arrive on time and I'm going to be rushing around at the station and I am done with running to stations and rushing around and all sorts of stuff I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna play it safe get there in plenty of time and then sleep on the train um so yeah tomorrow I'll probably wrap up uh fairly early-ish and then we'll next be streaming prob <laughs> I know I've already stopped uh, we'll be streaming Monday the 4th of November um, yeah it's probably going to be the next day as when I stream Monday so uh, yeah I don't know what I'll do tomorrow I'll see how I am after work um, it looks to be a fairly full day, so, uh, we'll see what happens, uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll just see how I am at the end of it all. It depends on what I want to end up playing. Um, but yeah, that's wrapped it up for the stream. Uh, I don't think anyone streams, so, he says, I'm going to go have a look. Uh, let's turn that off because it's going to give me like this. Oh, oh, of course, yeah. Carol and Jay Station, they're, they're playing uh, Bokura, which is one thing I want to play with Panana at some point. Um, so, yeah, they are playing that. It's an interesting looking game. Um, Uh, yes, so I might go do the raid over to them, but not watch too much of it, because I don't want to give myself too many spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's a game of two perspectives, um, and the stream that JayStation's doing has got both their perspective and Carol's perspective. Uh, but you don't see that when you're playing it, you want to see one of them. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll do a raid over, um, and uh, we can sort of say hi. Um, but yeah, as for me, that is is pretty much it. I will wrap it up here. Um, big thank you to everyone for coming along to watch, wherever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are. It's been a pleasure having you. Until next time, toodles. Uh, buttons. There we go. That's the button I need.